Let me introduce a person before I begin my presentation. Say hi to Mr. Leggy, who had been a great support for my family for the past three years and still counting. There is a big legacy behind this guy. Let me elaborate about it. Have you guys heard about a person lost their body parts due to diabetes? I'm pretty sure you guys have gone through at least one percent at your lifetime. Because in Malaysia, there are 3.9 million of diabetic patients according to Health or Ministry report in 2019 and about 49.1% of them are suffering with wound or ulcer formations. Therefore, in Malaysia, there's a lot of excellent private wound care management provider. But is the treatment price is affordable for all median of the people? Has the only hope, government hospital treatment had been the only choice for them. And one of them was my own father. And that's how I've been introduced to Mr. Lagi. The ratio of doctors to patient had been a big problem in the situation. The problems they've been faced are such as medical appointment scheduling, prioritizing system, which means giving more attention and time for more severe cases, and limitation for handling patient in a day, which being a major factor to increase the rate of amputations in Malaysia. We should understand that, in spite of the commitment given by the patient to take responsibility in terms of sustaining the blood glucose level and other factors from patient's side to promote better healing rate, Clinical attention is crucial to detect the abnormalities of the wound or ulcer at the early stages. Thus, the patient should take initiative to understand and know basic condition of their wound or ulcer to detect abnormalities and respond immediately on getting consultation from expertise for exceptional condition. The limitations able to be overcome by computer-aided automatic detection and diagnosis system for wound and ulcer care for diabetic patient. The system consists of metrology and image processing techniques such as age detection, color segmentation, area calculation, and severity classification. Once the patient uploaded their wound or ulcer image to the system, the age of the wound or ulcer will be detected and undergoes color segmentation image processing technique. As per medical term, tissues of wound or ulcer classify according to colors or spectrum whereby each of the color of the tissues carries multiple data. The four major tissues that have been tracked in the system are granulation, fibrin, necrotic tissues and foreign bodies which are red, yellow, black and blue in color respectively as a data provider and to determine the wound or ulcer severity classification. The masking technique used in the color segmentation enable a visualization understanding for the patient regarding the wound or ulcer condition. Moreover, the system provides the percentage of the tissues detected comparing to the whole area of the wound or ulcer. Therefore, severity classification determined by comparing the area and the colors detected on the wound or ulcer image. In the final outcome, the severity classified into less or high with additional information such as detected tissue percentages and the area of the wound or ulcer to track the healing rate. As a solution, the proposed system will help the patient have a virtual doctor and a get a close watch on the wound or ulcer in terms of healing and abnormalities detection on daily basis, whereby it directly leads for better wound care management conducted by government hospitals even at the peak crowd with implementation of data sharing between hospital and patient. It directly escalates treatment efficiency and decreases rate of amputation in coming years. Thank you.